What's going on, guys? Motivation Monday, episode four zero. That's right, we're at episode forty, and I got a very special guest here with me today, my man Dan West. Okay, current Ottawa Red Black, balling out in the CFL. Okay, my former roommate from Bishop's University, played a couple years over there. Dan, what's going on, man? Chilling, man. It's good to be here, man. What's up, Motivation Monday followers? So. Dan's just back in town for a little bit. He's doing a little bit of training, seeing some family and stuff for the holidays. Dan, like, you know, for a lot of people who don't know your background, just try and give them an idea. You know, right out of high school, you didn't go to college right away. You kind of went into the working field and stuff like that. But, you know, somehow you you went from being an Ajax to painting in the CFL. So tell us just a little bit about the journey from there to there. Yeah, you know, it's like you said, uh, I, after high school, uh, I didn't go to college right away. I really didn't have any offers to play anywhere. Uh, I was unrecruited. Uh, I was always a standout player. It just, I don't know what happened. It just didn't work out for me. You know, I didn't take school seriously. I was, I was doing some of the wrong things, you know, getting into trouble here and there. Uh, so I ended up working a few jobs. You know, I was kind of stuck in a rut. And then eventually a coach of ours, uh, Leroy Blue, yeah. I got the opportunity to come back uh, and play football. Uh, after three years, uh, I hadn't played football for three years, and I got this opportunity, and uh, basically I just jumped on it, and uh, you know, the rest is history. You know, I worked my butt off. Uh, you know, Steve was there for a lot of the ride, and we went back to Bishops, all the training, all the sweat, all the hard work, you know, and it just, you know, it came to fruition for me. I got, there was a lot of luck involved, but I mean, I, I, a lot of work too, a lot of pain, a lot of work. You know, a lot of sweat and uh, a lot of a lot of want to. It was always a dream of mine, and you know, I just I try, I made it happen. So we talked a little. Like I'm always talking about how the struggle kind of, you know, it helps you breathe strength, right? And it kind of this is kind of perfect example of that, and just how you just kept pushing, you kept working, you kept grinding towards your goal. So just tell us a little bit about like how sweet it was to just hoist that great cup man like i know i know that had to mean a lot to you and you know everything you've been through like that must have been like you know like i was there but like how did you feel bro yeah i mean i get tingles just thinking about <laughs> it but, i mean it was crazy because i just there was even after i went pro there were so many ups and downs like you know i had i had this vision for myself like once i got to the cfl i was gonna do this i was gonna do that and you know sometimes it, stuff doesn't work out the way you plan it but you know I was in, out in Winnipeg for three years I ended up being released you know uh, I was signed again I was released again and then somehow you know it just perfectly worked out uh, like a day after I was released uh, from Saskatchewan they brought me out to Ottawa and, you know everything just fell into place for me and uh, you know we went on a, a crazy run we had a great locker room and we ended up winning the Grey Cup and it was just, you know, all that adversity I went through, you know, it just made me stronger. It just made me, made me able to just, just leave the bullshit behind. And I was just, I was just able to let it roll off me and just, just keep going always, no matter what I went through. You know, I always like, I mean, I'm never too low in the lows and I'm never too high in the highs. I'm kind of just even keel. And that's, I think that's how you got to be in life. Because, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs. And if you just, you know, if you ride them all, you like, I don't even know how to put it. It's so true. Like you, on the on the ups, you can't just stay up because you never know when that down slope is gonna hit. But I think it's very true. And just what you're saying, you know, one door closes, another one opens. You know, and if you're consistently putting in the work, putting in the effort, and always grinding, you're you're gonna get towards your goals if, if you want it bad enough. And I think you're a perfect example of that. Man. Yeah. Hard work. There's nothing like good old hard work, man. It's just Get good old fashioned hard work. It, man. Hey, man, I really appreciate you coming out and talking to the people a little bit, sharing your story. Again, guys, this is Dan West. Go check him out on Instagram at Oost. You know, we got the French connection on there. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and thanks a lot for coming out. Thanks, hey, it's all love, fam. Hey.